All right, my friends, to start with the gizmos, the keto gizmos, I am going to saute some onion in some, you could use tallow, you could use lard, you could use butter, whatever you want. And while that sautés, I have a pound of my butcher box beef. And I'm also going to use the butcher box sweet Italian sausage. This is not sponsored by them, but if you're interested, uh, they have great things. Uh, what I love about them, the sweet Italian pork sausage, it's not really sweet because there's no sugar in it. It's really hard to find Italian sausage without sugar. I guarantee you. Has anybody found it at the store? I guarantee you, you haven't. Most grocery stores, like I needed it for my Mama Maria's stuffed mushrooms over Thanksgiving, and my dad texted me. He's like, there's no Italian sausage without sugar. What should I get? And so I just basically made my own. So I'm just going to open the ground beef up, and then for the Italian sausage, we're not going to use the links. I'm going to open the casings up and use the inside of that for the gizmos. And I'd love to know, has anybody been to the Minnesota State Fair? That's, people love the gizmos there. It's one of their favorites. Um, and I have to say, my son and I love watching Master Chef. And we started watching it because Gigi, uh, a lot of you know her as Gigi Eats, the salmon girl who has her lip tattooed with salmon. She was on it, but she didn't make it very far. So we were disappointed. I'm just gonna season this a little bit. Um, but on Master Chef, they had um, everybody make a, like a festival or like their state fair food elevated, and I thought that was quite interesting. I don't think I would make the gizmo because I don't know how to make it elevated. I don't know. It's not very elevated, it's just delicious and sloppy and gooey and ooey and delicious. And it's really quite easy to make, especially if you have Italian sausage. <laughs> you don't have to open the links up. And I've even skipped the step of sauteing the onion. I just did ground beef, sausage, and marinara sauce, basically, and salt. Super duper easy. You could add some garlic too if you want to. That's what's fun about this. You make it your own. Kind of like making chili, something like that. It's yours. You get to mess with it how you like. So once those are turning brown, we will add... You can tell my knife skills are not great. I would not make it very far in that chef. <laughs> but I do know how to make delicious food. I'm going to add the ground beef. And these sausage links and just start crumbling them up. I'm going to season it up and we'll fast forward this part for you. So once it's cooked through and it's no longer pink, you can use your own homemade marinara sauce. I'm just going to use Primal Kitchen. Um, you can eat, I like their tomato basil. Their pizza sauce is even better. I love that because it's a little bit thicker. So if you have either one of those, go for it. Or Rouse. This is not a sponsored post. You could use Rouse if you want to. If you want, you could drain it a bit. I'm not going to spend too much time doing that, but I'm going to grab some paper towel and just, oh, it's hot. Tilt the pan and drain some of it. I know, all you keto people think fat is where it's at, which it is, but protein is even more important. Most people are eating plenty of fat and we're gonna add cheese to this and all the things, so there's no need to add all of this. We have some great videos on where the fat goes when you eat it, because it doesn't just shoot out your back end. So here we go. I'm going to add the pizza sauce. And I'm going to mix 
mix this in. And while this simmers, we are going to make the buns for the sandwiches, for the gizmos. So I'm just going to let this simmer away once I combine it really well. And we are going to get to those sandwiches. Hi, Kai. Hi. It's a beautiful day out, isn't it? Yes. And what are you doing? Drawing. Drawing. And you also brought a drink with you, didn't you? Yes. Element. Element. And why do you drink Element? Because it helps me with some headaches. Yep. If you ever get a headache, we suggest to drink an Element because it's basically a natural Gatorade without sugar or food dye, and it comes in a convenient packet. We're going camping next week, and we're going to bring these with us to bring it to have a nice little flavor bomb in our drink or water if you want some flavor in it. It's a nice, healthy option, and it's super convenient. I love the chocolate because you can have a nice little hot chocolate instead of coffee in the morning. And if you're interested in Element, go to Drink Element slash Maria. And it's super delicious. What's your favorite flavor, Kai? Uh, has to be raspberry. Raspberry salt. What do you want to tell people? Drink with your kids. Cheers. Cheers. Now gizmos, you put in a little sub sandwich thing. So a hoagie, a hoagie roll, yeah. So we're gonna use six eggs and I'm gonna put the whites into a large bowl. And I'm gonna save the yolks for my easy ice cream. If you haven't checked that video out. Um, you could also make mayo with it, hollandaise. Um, so many different things with the yolks. I have a whole video on what I do with the extra yolks. You can freeze them. When eggs are separated, you can freeze them. Um, but uh, I'll probably save them for the ice cream because who doesn't want ice cream in the summertime? It's another state fair goodie. Ice cream and gizmos. Maybe I'll have Kai taste test that. Delicious. All right, six eggs. And the full measurements will be in the link below. I usually always do that. So, or the full recipe will be in below. And if you have any yolks that get into the whites, really try to get that out of there. Otherwise, it's not going to whip very well. And this technique is a little bit different than my usual one. I'm not going to whip the whites by themselves. I'm going to add the ingredients. I'm going to add the allulose. I have a few tablespoons of allulose in there. I'm going to add my keto chow egg white protein. I'm getting low on it. Let me get that out. There we go. And add that. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of gelatin. I love further food gelatin. Do not skip this part because it's gonna create a nice chewy bread that everybody misses when they go gluten-free. Um, and further food is so generous when you use code Maria Mind Body you save big time. And yeah, this tub costs, you know, it's pricey, but it lasts me for months. So instead of buying the junky stuff at the grocery store, get a good quality grass-fed uh, gelatin like that. Now um, I'm gonna add a little salt. And now I'm going to whip this up and I'll catch you back. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, the whites are very, very stiff. They kind of remind you of marshmallows without the sugar. And I'm gonna just spray a baking sheet. And I'm going to make some hoagie rolls, okay? So this kind of takes a little bit of art. Um, I do have a hoagie pan in Hawaii, but I don't have that here. So I'm just gonna form it kind of by myself into some hoagie rolls. Ideally, you'll get four, but it just depends on how big you make them. Just kind of form it. It's a little bit of art. Kai should be doing this. He's my artist. Really good artist, actually. There. And I think I'm just gonna stick with three really big ones for a photo op. 
I'm going to do some photos of this too. And it depends on how long you are. Maybe you want a really big one or not, whatever. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and these make great hot dog buns, hamburger buns, bagels, you name it. So whatever shape you want to make them into, go for it. And then I'm going to put it in a 325 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're totally cooked through and golden brown. So I'm going to finish shaping these and get them in the oven. All right, now we have the buns out of the oven and I let them cool completely. And I am going to slice one. Make sure that they're cool before you slice it open. Otherwise they'll fall. So slicing this open and look how tender that is. It's like super, it's like Wonder Bread. So what you're gonna do now, I'm gonna put it onto uh, the baking sheet again with the parchment and I'm gonna add some of the gizmo filling and just like that. And then I'm gonna top it with um, mozzarella cheese. I have the broiler oven on. Now the trick is with this bread and the broiler oven is it can burn the bread pretty easily. So make sure that you are nearby and ready to, you don't want the bread to burn. So that's gonna go into the broiler oven. I'm gonna make one more. Should just make all of them, huh? But I mean, look at that bread. It's just super soft, super tender. I mean, if you're missing bread, hop to it, friends, because it's really good. Ooh. There we go. Fill that gizmo sauce in there. And then top it with mozzarella cheese. I always get um, slices of mozzarella, even when I make my protein noodle lasagna, because if you use shredded mozzarella, that usually has like potato starch and different things like that to anti-cake it, but the slices are perfect. So I'm gonna put it in the broiler oven and I'll catch you back. Okay, they're done. I almost forgot about them. And you can see the bread gets quite dark, but this looks delicious. I am really excited for, I need to get a new spatula, clean one. I'm excited for Kai to try them because he's never had a gizmo and he loves everything. It's like pizza in a, in a sandwich. Who doesn't want that, right? It's in the frame there. There we go. Delicious. Let's see what Kai thinks. Good morning, Kai. Hi. I got up early to make you gizmos. So what were you watching yesterday? Master Chef. Master Chef. And they were making what kind of food? Uh, like State yeah, Fair? Yeah, State Fair food. Yeah, so where do we go every August? Uh, State Fair. The Minnesota State Fair. And something that everybody loves is a gizmo, but we never got it because it's a bread thing. So I made you one. Do you want to try it? It's kind of like pizza in bread. Do you want to dip it in more pizza sauce? I know you like the pizza sauce that we get. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's really, really good. So you get to have gizmos for breakfast. You're a lucky boy, aren't yeah. you? No more eggs. Mm -mm. So it's so good, you want to tell people to share with their friends. Share with your friends. Share with your friends so you can eat delicious fair food that's healthy, right? Yeah. Maybe I should be a master chef. You should. You should be. That's awesome. And you should be. And you should be. <laughs> cook with your kids, right, Kai? Cook with your kids. Teach them how to cook. They're the future. Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo. If you want to change your life like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. 
I had depression, I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, and food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me, and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.